What's going on everyone? Connor here from Gear Reviews bringing you another video. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing video. As you can see I have a fairly large box here of some Yeti gear that I've ordered. So let's open it up and see what we've got. Alright, so we've got some more paper here so that's always fun. Okay, so there's a couple items inside. We've got this box. What's inside? Nice empty box, really, uh, I guess, just used to keep everything in place. All right, so looks like they've only sent one thing in here, but what we do have is a new Yeti cooler. Um, really interested to see how this one is, as it is their smaller version. Um, it's only 20 liters, so let's take a quick look at it. All right, so what we've got here is the Yeti Roadie. It's a 20 liter cooler. Um, I really wanted to have a Yeti that was smaller that I could take on shorter road trips or just when I really don't need to pack a lot as the Tundra is kind of a lot to bring if you're only bringing some drinks or um, just a bit of overnight stuff. If we look inside of it, I, I did order some Yeti ice as well um, just because I, I find they take a lot longer to melt so they're nice to have on top of just the normal ice as well. A standard looking inside of a Yeti, there's not really anything uh, that different once you get in there. Really the main differences between the Rodi and the Tundra come from uh, the outside of it. Alright, so look out for uh, some videos coming out for the Yeti Rodi. I'll uh, do one where I walk through all the different features that it has and then also I'll do one comparing it to the Tundra to know when uh, the roadie really shines and when it's best to probably get one of these or use one of these and when maybe it makes more sense to use the Tundra instead as uh, they sort of serve a bit of different purposes given their different capacities and different sizes. So look out for those. I hope you all stay well and we'll see you guys later.